let's join our hearts. Let's all praise here together. Okay, let's all succeed. Let's have a great Friday worship. Perfect you are, my God. Righteous and holy.
Father, we praise you and we worship you and we call to you at this time, Lord. Uh, during this time, may you uh, be able to start uh, a new creation inside of us uh, through the gospel of Jesus Christ, Lord. Uh, may that gospel uh, continue to be proclaimed amongst all these uh, precious, amazing remnants. May they be able to uh, ha uh, possess the answer of only Christ. Uh, may they be able to have uh, the answer of uh, wherever they go that your kingdom that your Holy Spirit uh, shines and works in all the things that they do, Lord. Uh, to the remnants that worship, uh, that have gathered for worship, may you bless them. May you guard their hearts and minds. May you be able to give them your peace and grace and mercy at this time, Lord. We thank you so much. May you be able to be greatly exalted, and may you be able to receive all of our worship and praise. We thank you and pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, we sing this on Wednesday. Remnants designed by God. I don't think, I don't know if Deacon Cuss has it memorized, but I think he'll figure it out. All right, let's pray something together. I love to sing my heart out. of how we were made.
right. Good evening, David. Good evening, Johnny. Hello. Just missed the hat, though. All right. Let's continue to praise here, okay? Uh, for those that are uh, for those that are online, okay? Uh, may you be able to bless one another, okay? To the people around you, say to that person, you are blessed. Wake each other up. You are blessed. And to those here, say to each other, you are blessed. All right, you guys ready? All right, promises to me. From the Lord I hold in my little hand. All right, we go. Promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. He's there to guide me through his only word. I am his remnant. Promises, promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. He's there to guide me through his only word. I am his remnant. One more time, promises, promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. To guide me through its only word, I am his ram. La 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 Jesus is the only cry. La 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 I am his ram. Promise it, promises to me from the Lord I hold in my little hand. To guide me through his only word, I am his remnant. La 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 Jesus says the only cry. La 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 I am his remnant. La 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 Jesus says the only cry. So thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. My little, my little heart goes. My little eyes they are. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. My little, my little heart goes. My little eyes they are. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. La 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 That's not the right. How does it go again? La 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 la. I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ. I'm thankful every day. La 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 la. La 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 I am so thankful Jesus is the Christ I'm thankful every day I am I'm thankful every day I am I'm thankful every day Amen It happened again This time it was the other way I thought if I sang it the other way other order I wouldn't forget I still forgot. Okay, you guys don't care. All right. Uh, happy Friday. Okay. Happy remnant worship. Okay. Uh, we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a weekend filled with worship for you guys. Okay. Uh, so as you guys worship today, okay, may God bless you. Okay. 
eyes up here. Johnny, may God bless you. Okay, may God keep you, give you his, um, give you his grace and his peace. Okay, so as we sing one last praise together, okay, I want you guys to prepare your hearts. Okay, and let's succeed in worship today. Fair? Yes. All right. Let's sing. Lord bless you and keep you. Father, we thank you so much. Uh, God, you, uh, we know that everything belongs to you. Uh, you are the master and you are the owner of all things. Um, most importantly, you are the Lord and master of all these remnants' lives, Lord. Uh, may they be able to discover their identity, their authority. May they be able to find um, their CVDIP answer uh, through the time of worship, through the time of prayer through the time of your word, Lord. Uh, guard the hearts and the minds of these remnants. May they be able to know uh, that they have a different purpose, a different strength, a different uh, kind of answer uh, that the world can never be able to give, Lord. Uh, may they be able to find that answer um, in only Christ, Lord. Uh, during this time, may you break down all the force of darkness. May the remnants here be able to worship with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. May you bless them, keep them, Give them grace and peace. We thank you and pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day you rose again, you ascended into heaven, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, and shall then come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the holy universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray.
Open up to Saturday. Okay. Person who is blessed, who is one. May I become one who is poor in spirit for the kingdom of heaven to be mine. Become one who mourns and is comforted. Become one who is meek and inherits the earth. Become one who hungers and thirsts for righteousness and is satisfied. Become one who is merciful and receives mercy. Become one who is pure in heart and sees God. Become one who is a peacemaker and is called a child of God. And become one who is persecuted for righteousness' sake, for the kingdom of heaven to be mine. Prayer for Vedic Missions, which one? May I correctly see that America is the Rome of this age, not be afraid and receive the filling of the Holy Spirit to boldly testify in front of the world that Jesus is the Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So hold on to our year-long message. Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing. What's true healing? Evangelism and missions, which is making disciples of all nations. Spiritual healing, because people are spiritually sick. Save the future generations, the remnants, you guys. And then the younger remnants, which is why the older remnants need to train the younger remnants. Is that right? Receive power through the Holy Spirit. You witness to the very ends of the earth. And where we are is the ends of the earth, right? In other words, 237, healing summit. We have to pray for the Holy Spirit to work so that what opens up? Doors of evangelism. So do we force evangelism to take place? We have to let the Holy Spirit work, right? So we could find hidden disciples. Well, first of all, we need to be disciples in order to find hidden disciples, right? Are you guys disciples? Well, we have to, and then we'll experience God's word being fulfilled. But how can we experience God's word being fulfilled if we're not holding on to God's word? So we need to hold on to God's word, right? Like our life depends on it. We're going to learn about Joseph and Joseph tonight. So in order for our lives to be just like Joseph and actually experience what Joseph went through, then we need to hold on to the covenant, God's word, right? It's not just a storybook, right? And change will take place. God's word will change us. If God's word's boring for you, maybe you didn't taste it yet. Taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone kept praying, God, I want to eat the, eat the Holy Spirit. Eat it. Hold on to Acts 1.1, 1, 1, which is Jesus being the Christ. God's kingdom. Filling of the Holy Spirit. Hold on to it and pray. The Lord says, well, let's tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless you. May the Lord bless you, keep you, protect you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to us. Because do we deserve anything? We don't deserve anything. If he gives it to us. So we got to keep asking, God, give me, 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 give me. Even though I don't deserve it, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. May the Lord's face turn, his face turn towards you. So like, you know how babies, when their parents look at them, they smile. But then when I look at them, and then they will run away. Oh yeah, like one light. And give us peace. Are you guys at peace? Like if you guys die tonight, <laughs> would you be at peace? Are you guys gonna bother each other? You guys know better. Who's gonna have the bigger vessel and move? <laughs> Not move in the same spot, then you're gonna have to move again. That makes no sense. Thank you. Stay right there. 
So silly. Because think about it. If you guys move, you guys are back with each other, and then you have to move back. It's an ongoing cycle, like the laundry, laundry machine of sin. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on to the covenant. Oh, I already said it. See, you sent for covenant. God's promise, his pinky promise. If I give you a pinky promise, what if I break... What if I break the promise? It's bad, right? Well, you know what? People don't keep promises. But who keeps promises? God always keeps his promises, right? And what did he promise us? Wait, what? Okay, yeah. But I'm thinking of the word, it's a Bible verse that starts with but. Oh, but you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on us. You will be my witnesses. That's a promise. So hold on tight. Remember that picture of Spider-Man, Johnny, hanging upside down, holding the spider web? Yeah. Hold on tight, Johnny boy. Hold on tight. Ooh, Are you going to distract Michael? Are you going to distract Deacon Kaz? You better not. Don't kick the chair. Oh, see it ahead of time? V stands for vision. Oh, just hold on to God's plan. What's God's plan? We. World evangelization. Make it mine. Make it yours ahead of time. Is it yours? Okay. Then you better stake your life on it. Because it's yours. And if it's yours, you can give it to other people. Promise? D stands for dream. What do you dream about? You dream about kimchi soup? <laughs> I don't care. Okay, I care. Is it a covenant dream? Then I don't care. Enjoy it ahead of time. I stands for image. Whose image are you created in? Yeah, which means we're spiritual beings. Who else are spiritual beings? Those weird spiritual things from soul. Remember that? Orion, the last dragon, the purple ones. It's kind of like the same thing. Huh? Never mind. Enjoy God being with us on a covenant journey. Conquer, win ahead of time. It's no competition. P, put into practice God's goal. Because he already finished everything. He finished original sin. Yeah, carry out your role as a spiritual watchman, right? Or soldiers, spiritual doctors, and spiritual ambassadors. We represent Christ, right? Represent. Who does Lionel Messi represent? Which team? Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Who does LeBron James represent? Okay. <laughs> tennis, no tennis. And then on Wednesday and Sunday, we talked about staying in the flow, right? The surfboard. Yeah, stay in the flow. Know who you are. Write the, write the surfboard of who am I? Trying God, identity, authority. Where am I? In the place of enjoying these 10 mysteries. Survive on your own, spiritual facts, unconventional thinking, crisis into opportunities, win without fighting, recreation, synergy, summit, wilderness, God's absolute plan. What? What do we need to stand on? Foundation, God's absolute sovereignty, his method, his work, his word, temple, God's plan, God reigns, providence, judgment, and spiritual rewards. We don't deserve it. But keep praying, God. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. How? The five assurances. Salvation. Answer to prayer. <laughs> Guidance. Forgiveness. And victory. 
all 62 follows when we hold on to what? 237? Yeah, 138. Change the flow. Save the flow. Say in the flow of worship and church because it's the throne of, it's the shadow of heaven. So sh should we take church seriously and worship seriously? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to be running around in heaven? Somebody keeps running around in church even though they know the rules. Even when there's cameras. Enjoy God being, enjoy Wio 24 hours. God's kingdom. Blessings of heaven. Who's the head of the church? You know, Jesus Christ is the head. He's the master. Uh, today's message. Uh, I don't deserve nothing. Dun, dun, dun. Don't complain. Well, just, just write it. You don't have to de defend yourself. You don't have to argue back with, with Teacher Ginster. You don't have to argue back. Just do it. We have a bad habit of doing that. Don't question, just, just do it. Uh, even in Google Classroom, I posted a link on Pixin for Kevin to join, and the one remnant, all capital letters, why is this here, teacher Jitster? Always questioning. I have a bad habit of doing that, whoever that was. Miss Hee Jung So. I think it was. Oh, Remnant, can you clean this before you leave? Oh, my mom's, my mom's waiting in the car. <laughs> Emma, can you clean this up? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Emma. If, can, we, can we move on? Luke 7, 7 and 13. Luke chapter 7, 7 and 13. Three, two, one. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word, and my servant will be healed. Dun, dun, dun. Three, two, one. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. No, no, no. Don't cry. So he's left in Jesus' life. Jesus' part healing. God, have compassion on me. Give me your grace, por favor. Por favor means please in Spanish. Be careful where you write. You don't want to doodle on church property or your finger. God, have compassion on me. Compassion means, oh, you feel sorry for them. Yeah. I don't deserve nothing. What were you doing while the title was up? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, can you make sure that he's not doodling anywhere else? Okay. Can I move on? God, have compassion of me. Give me your grace. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Por favor. Please, I don't deserve it. But give me, give me, give me. Can I move on? I'm going to move on. If you didn't finish writing it, go back and watch the video. The gospel versus different religions. So there's so many different religions in the world, right? Like, for example, oh, Buddhism. Buddhism, Buddhism, Buddhism. So what do they worship in Buddhism? Themselves. They want to empty themselves, which is why they go meditate in the mountains. Um, in an empty room. Um, they bow down 108 times. Um, they have a bead and they, with 108 beads, um, empty themselves. I want to reach enlightenment. Oh, 
You empty yourself. But when you empty yourself, what comes in? Uh, Evil spirits, right? And then you empty yourself again. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then the evil spirits bring seven more buddies. And then, oh, spiritual problems are passed down to the family and it affects their children. And then oh, there's like Buddha statues in their home. Or maybe they, lots of people go to Buddhist like temples because it's like in the mountain. It's fresh air and they receive healing. Why? Because there's fresh air. Don't draw on the, on the, on the chair. There you go. They shave the head, empty themselves. 108 beads. Wait, what other religion has beads? I think Catholic. Catholic also has beads. For rosary, they do the Hail Mary, they do the Lord's Prayer, they do the Apostles' Creed. But then, what is their focus on? Yeah, how come Mary has a bigger halo than baby Jesus? It should be the opposite, huh? They should put their focus on Christ, but they put their focus on Mary or the church or like doing things, doing good works. And then when they, when they do something bad, like they, they do a sin, do you know what they do? Oh, they feel so guilty. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then they go to the priest in a, like a box and they, do our, they confess their sins. Priest, oh, Father. Um, I hit Michael. And then the priest is like, okay, do 71 Lord's prayers and your sins are forgiven. So it's focused on actions, right? Same thing with Buddhism, actions, 108 times. <laughs> That's like, you're going to get a six pack because you're doing so much bowing. Of course you're going to get healing because you're doing exercise. Peter Jensen was fishing and then this grandpa comes along I'm like, and he's like, he sits on the bench and he's like, oh, sorry, I need to do my, my daily prayer. And I'm fishing. And I wish I had some evangelism material. And he goes away and he goes to the next bench and bothers another fisherman. So I guess that was like his, his scheduled prayer, but he was doing the Catholic prayer. Actions. What else? Oh, there's Hinduism. Hinduism. Yeah, they worship like many different gods, probably thousands of different gods. Oh my. I, I don't know. I, but these gods have like different powers, just like Greek and Roman gods. They had different power. God of thunder, God of love, God of hell, Zeus, thunder. But then I guess they have different gods. Yeah. Look, they're even carrying this heavy god in the water. They even worship animals, like cows. You know there's lots of cows in India, and some just walk along in the middle of the road, causing a traffic jam, and then, do you know what they do? And they wait until the cow god moves. If the cow god is there all day, then they're stuck in traffic all day. They don't even eat beef. No beef. I don't know about pork. Oh, Islam. There's another religion. What's Islam? So this is their tabernacle, right? They live centered on the tabernacle, but this is really, not really the tabernacle. They even copied, look, they even copied the Bible. They have their own Quran. They even have their own savior, who is Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. That's their version of Jesus. What's their version of God, Jehovah God? It's Allah. A lot of similarities, huh? It's almost as if Satan is copying it, tricking them. Hmm. Oh, and they do scheduled prayer, I think five times a day. Yeah, Tia Jinsu was in high school. Can I use the bathroom? Oh, sure, I got it. I go to the bathroom. And then there, I go in the bathroom, taking care of my business. And then Muslim classmates, they're kneeling on the bathroom floor praying because it was their scheduled prayer time. Interesting. They're not just ashamed of doing scheduled prayer. Are you guys ashamed of praying in class? Yeah, one remnant's like, uh, camera off, and then praise. Camera on. Hi. No, why are you ashamed? 
Oh, Judaism, the Jewish people, what do they believe? They're, they still believe the Old Testament, everything in the Old Testament. And they're still waiting for Jesus. They're, well, I mean, they're waiting for a savior. They don't believe Jesus is the savior. I, uh, all religion, it's made by who? The people, man, it's man-made. People made religions. That's like building Tower of Babel, right? Because religion is people seeking God. But what's the gospel? Oh, I did it. I'm seeking God. I did it. It's all me. I did it. My God is happy because I did what I was supposed to do. No, it's not about your actions. And what's the gospel? If religion is people seeking God, then it's the opposite, right? Gospel is God seeking us. Because everybody sinned. What kind of sin are we talking about? Original sin, right? That's a spiritual sin. Everybody's born separated from God. Ever since Adam and Eve. It doesn't matter who you are, how rich you are, how handsome you are, how muscular you are, how fat you are, how skinny you are, how short you are, how tall you are, how hairy you are, how, how unhairy you are, how slimy you are, how dry you are, how, if you have three feet, if you have six toes, if you have two legs, if you have three legs, four legs, five legs, if you're missing two arms, if you're really smart, if you're really dumb, it doesn't matter. Everybody is separated from God. Everybody falls short of God's glory. So should we be jealous of non-believers? Then why are you jealous of non-believers? Why are you trying to be like your friends? Why are you trying to be like celebrities? Why are you trying to be like famous athletes? Y'all jelly. There's no one righteous, not even one. Doesn't matter how, what you do, there's no one righteous. Nobody. No. For the wages of sin is death. Because we have original sin, we're spiritually dead. We can't be holy. Bye-bye. Everything we do, religion, it's man-made, right? It's like filthy rags. Say you have a dirty rag and you're cleaning. What happens with the more you clean? The more dirty it gets, like a dirty, dirty diaper. What happens when you're driving in a car and you have your windshield because it's raining? But then on the windshield wiper is a diaper. <laughs> Wait a second. What happens if the windshield wiper is cleaning the, the front? The poop gets smeared all over the windshield. No. That's like religion, right? The more you try to do, the more dirty it gets. What's, what's the gospel? It's God coming to the car and taking the diaper away. Now it's clean. Yeah, get that poop out of here, and then he cleans it all up for us. And then what's religion? Look at this. It's, uh, it's offered to demons, not to God. And Jesus doesn't want us to participate with demons. When, we, when, the, when people in different religions worship their idols, their statues, their gods, it's offered to demons. Oh. So is that why when they do 108, 108 bowing, God, um, please heal my dying children, and they bow 108 times, and they go home, and the child is healed. It's a miracle. But who did it? Yeah. That's the scary part, huh? No, no, no. God doesn't want that. Okay, so it's not us. We don't do anything. There's no way. Okay, so only God has to do it. So we got we to gotta ask for help. God, help us. We can't do it. So God needs to come to us. Just like Jesus came to Paul. Yeah, that one too. Oh, thank God. Jesus, God came. He came to us as a prophet. He became the way to meet God. 
The priest, he cleaned the poop off the window, the original sin. King, he destroyed Satan's power. Wow. And that's how he showed us his love. Kabish? So, us being children of God, do we deserve it? Is it something that we can ask for? God, here, give me, give me salvation. I want to be a child of God. Give me. No, 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 no. God has to give us that gift, right? That's a gift. By his grace. Not by works, not by religion, not by bowing down 108 times, not, not by doing the Hail Mary, Lord's Prayer, Apostles' Creed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a gift. So everybody here received gift. Are you thankful for that? Or maybe you don't know, know yet? Or maybe you don't have it. Well, I, I hope you do. So we don't deserve it. We don't deserve to be children of God. But then God, felt, God has to feel sorry for us. God felt sorry for us and he gave us salvation. The gift, not a reward, because you earn your reward, right? You work hard, you get first place, you get reward. But is that how it's salvation is like? No, 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 he, he gave it as a gift. It's a gift. Here, I give you this gift. I don't expect anything back. So God, keep praying. God, give me, give me, give me, give me your spiritual blessings. I don't deserve it, but give me, give me, give me, give me. Now, is it just give me? No, no, no. Now give to others. God, give, give that person salvation. Give that person, that person, that person. Give him, give him. Give her, give her. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Are y'all ready for some story time? Yeah. All right, it's story time. So there's this, okay, so there's Jesus, and he's, he went to a village, what's it called? Kepper, Kepernam, Kepernam, Kepernam. And there was this centurion, or like this, this, this general. Dun, da, 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 look how tough he looks. He's a centurion. He's like in charge of the army. Very powerful. Dun, da, 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 centurion. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, you don't want to mess with that centurion. Wait a second, that centurion looks kind of young. Okay, that's better. Tough guy. Dun, 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 dun. So tough. I mean, look at that. Look, he killed a wolf. <laughs> and then he had a servant. But the servant, okay, so there's his beloved servant. Ooh, they're best friends telling each other secrets. But then this servant got sick. No! And he's about to die. Poor servant. Oh, no. And then the centurion heard about Jesus. There was this guy named Jesus healing everybody. So the centurion's like, because he's powerful, he's like, okay, here, elders. There are some a group of these elders. Go, go get Jesus. Go bring Jesus here. Because he can heal my servant, my servant whom I love so much. Go, elders, go! Go. Go. So there was Jesus doing his ministry. And the elders came along, and the elders, the Jewish elders, are like, oh, My master asked for you, and he deserves to have his servant healed. He deserves it. Why does he deserve it? Because he loves his nation. Wait, this is talking like actions, right? So Jesus is like, mm. and he built the synagogue. The centurion was powerful and he used his money to build the synagogue. See, these elders are just focusing on actions again, right? So Jesus is like, Okay, let's go. And now while the servant was, meanwhile, at the home, oh, the servant, poor servant, he's dying. But then oh, all of a sudden, by God's grace, the centurion realized, wait, what was I thinking? This is Jesus, the Lord, the master, the healer. I, I don't deserve to have Jesus come into my house. 
So he got his buddies. Hey. <laughs> Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And he sent his friends. Oh, go hurry. Go hurry and tell Jesus not to come here. Go, friends, go. Okay, so there's Jesus. And then he's on his way. But the friends came along. They're fast, huh? And then... The friends told Jesus what the centurion told or said. And this is what the centurion said. The so centurion's like, don't trouble yourself. Don't, don't bother coming to my home. I, I'm not even worthy. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Just, just say the word. Just say, servant be healed. And he's going to be healed. Because that's like the power of the word, right? And then he gave some examples. The centurion's like, I also have power and authority. When I tell my soldiers to go, they go. When I tell my servants or soldiers, come, they come. Do this, do that, and they do it. So just say the word. And then Jesus was like, he was so shocked. He was so happy. <gasps> I've never seen such amazing faith in all of Israel. Your faith has healed you. Go back. And then what happened to the servant? All better. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. What happened to you? What happened to you? <laughs> so happy because the servant is healed. Maybe he's better off not being healed. All right, next. Jesus goes to a different village called Nain. Nain? Nain. There's Jesus. He's fast. Okay, so he's about to enter the city, but then like out of the city gates, he sees a group, a crowd of people, and they're carrying this coffin with a dead person inside. Uh-oh. And she's like, oh, what's going on over there? And there was this widow, black widow. <laughs> there was the widow. Her, you guys know what a widow is? No. Widow is somebody, is a woman whose husband died. That's a widow. And then she only had one son. And this son died. So now she's all alone. She used to be so happy with her little boy. I mean, look at that little boy. Such a sweetheart. I don't know. Like mother, like son. And then the son died. Oh, no. Wait a second. I don't know why you're laughing or you're smiling when he's dead. But then she's all alone. And then she was crying. Cry eating. And Jesus is like, wait, he, his heart went out for her. He had compassion on her. She felt sorry for her. And then Jesus is like, don't cry. So she was crying, but then all of a sudden, okay, I won't cry. So she stopped crying, and then oh, there was a dead son inside, and then Jesus touched the coffin. And then he said, get up, boy. Young man, get up. What do you think happened? Oh, yeah, he got up, and he just started talking. I don't know what he was talking about. Oh, super super And then the mom was so happy. Oh my gosh. He got up. So fast. And the mom was happy. 
They go, how, 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 the creepy boy. And they were all filled with awe. They were so amazed. And they praised God. <gasps> a great prophet appeared to us. God came to help his people. Why were they so amazed, though? And why did, all, why did this news spread everywhere? But why? Is it because they knew Jesus is the Christ who came to solve original sin? No, because they just saw the miracle. <gasps> There's this dude who raises dead people. Wow. That's what they focus on. They only focus on the physical things, huh? It's kind of like religion. Okay, last point. I? Me? I? No, 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 no. God? Yes, 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 yes. I? No, 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 no. God? Yes, 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 yes. Okay? Me? I? Did I do anything? Is it my actions? I? Uh, no, 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 no. I die. I die. I die. I, I didn't do anything. I, no, 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 no. You, no, 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 no. God? Jesus Christ? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Because I don't do it. God has to do it. Kapish? Kapush. Uh, we'll split for blessed form time. Three, two, one. May the Lord bless y'all, keep y'all. May the Lord's face turn towards y'all. No, may face shine toward, shine on y'all. Give y'all and be gracious to y'all. May the Lord's face turn towards y'all. Give y'all peace. Jesus healing, prayer books. Are you guys actually gonna pray tonight? You're just gonna walk around, actually pray, and focus on the message and the worship. What are y'all, kids? How old, are, how old are you guys? 11, 9. Are you guys one years old? Yeah. If you're two, you should be able to worship. They're running, playing around. You guys are all older than two, right? Uh, homework reminder, build a church. Build a church. Good job. Oh, good job. Okay. Okay, we might want to sanitize the roof. Okay. And it collapsed. Paul is not a girl. He's just a very muscular man. The what? What lava? Oh, the llama's right here. Okay, let's quickly pray for Colombia and Cuba, both Roman Catholic nations, mostly. Ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Colombia and Cuba so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise and shine the light of the gospel over there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Uh, let's pray. Dear Lord, dear Lord, may you bless our precious remnants. Uh, even though we don't deserve it, thank you for making us your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.